everybody. Oh, sorry. I did the slate. Let's try again. <laughs> I was going to slate, and then you were going to go. What's up? Let's try again. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Hey Man, I'm Josh. I am Jacob. Hey, man. Hey, man. How you doing, dude? Good. How are you? Good. I, I feel like uh, it seems weird because I know this isn't true, but I feel like I haven't seen you in a long time. But it really was Sunday. Yeah, it was a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's how much time we spend together. That's true. We do spend a lot of time. Together. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess I guess that's I I feel like that's kind of valid because I guess I feel the same way because I'm like we've been talking, but like yeah, I really feel like uh, uh I was like I haven't when I was driving up I'm like I got so much to talk to Jacob about. Yeah, we haven't we haven't like spoken on the phone or like or we spoke on the phone for like a quick minute, but. You know, you called me when we went to an arcade yesterday and fucking... Because I needed help with the GoPro. Which I literally... <sighs> okay. So he called me while we were at... Uh, my girlfriend and I, Iman, Iman, were at the... We're at a place called Round One. It's an arcade slash, I slash bowling alley slash a whole bunch of shit, right? It's yeah. also connected to uh, a mall. Okay. Um, and it's fun. We went for the claw machines, but I stayed for the VR headset, which was like a VR like gun game. But you called me as we were walking in there. The night before, he wanted me to drop off the GoPro that we had with some footage on it from the weekend. And I knew he would never be able to figure out where the SD card is for the GoPro. Because for those of you who know <laughs> what a GoPro looks like, there's a little latch on the side. Like you can't, if you don't, unless you know, you just don't. Yeah. Right. And you weren't confident that I'd be able to figure it out. Zero chance. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Z I knew you were going to look at it and be like, well, I can't find it right off the bat. So I'm going to call him and try and figure it out where it is. Can I tell you something funny? I pressed the power button like 30 times thinking that it might. I was so like, it was going to pop out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went over and he wasn't home because he was at his show. And so my mom was there and I was like, hey, and we sat and talked for a little bit before I left. I opened the GoPro up. I popped the SIM card out so you could see it. Mm -hmm. And I looked at mom and I was like, hey, when dad gets home, tell him that this is the SIM card. He doesn't need to open it or pop it or anything. Just slide that part out. She was like, got it. Mm, yeah. Fast forward 18 hours. Yeah. I get a call. Shocking. From him. Hey, I don't know how to open the GoPro to get the SIM card out. How do you do that? And I was like, didn't you see it open? When, I, what did, like, here's my question. Did, you, didn't I, you see it open when you got home? I'm going to tell you something. I open, I saw it open. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I was like, oh, he left this open because he thinks I'm too dumb to figure out how to do it myself. But that was like a day before. So when I closed it, I was like, no, I'll be able to figure that out. But by the time I had got upstairs the day after... But why even close it? You know what? What's Be the point? Because Everything I, I was carrying it upstairs. I didn't want that little that little memory card to fall out. Not how it works. And I was like, you know what? I'll be able to figure this out. I'm a grown human adult. And then I shut it. And here's my thing. By the way, when I shut Did it you in my head, I heard the law and order. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> did, I was like, wait. Uh -oh. So did you, but did you just assume, like, why didn't you? Open it the way you closed it. Did you forget how you closed it the day before? 100%. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So I, I got a phone call and I was like, hey, man, I, I left it specifically on the counter open for you. And you were like, yeah, I saw that. And I go, okay. Why'd you close it? Yeah. Like that's, and you were, and that Va valid question. Yeah. Why, valid. why even close yeah, it? Like yeah, I, yeah. And I, I and, closed it out of spite <sighs> to you because I was like, he thinks I'm too dumb to figure this out. And then I. <laughs> And then I you spotted the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Hold on. It's not that I thought you were too dumb. Yeah. I just did. I knew you had never worked a GoPro before. Yeah. It's not that I thought you were dumb. I just knew that you didn't have the base knowledge of how to work a GoPro to know yeah. where the the SD card was. Because yeah. when I first opened one, I was like, "Where the fuck does the SD card come from?" Yeah. And then somebody was like, "Boop boop," and I was like, "Oh no shit. Okay, cool." So and, I had tugged on that part, but I was like, oh, I don't want to break it. But you know, no, but you know what the best part was though? And I was like, okay, hold it this way. And then you held it towards me and I go, okay. And I even flipped it. I was like, I knew what you were talking about or like knew which was right and left because I knew you were flipped. And so I was like, cool, on your right side. And I think you were thinking that I didn't know which side was right or left. So yes. you went to your left side. Yes. And I was like, no, no, other side. And you went to the top and I was like, no. The fucking right side. Yeah. And then you turned it away from me. And I was like, no, turn it around. And I'm sitting outside. And even, even my girlfriend is like, relax. And I'm like, no, he's, I can't.
can tell if he's being an asshole or he's just it's fucking stupid. Like, you, know what it, you know what it is? I recognize the frustration <laughs> because I used to have to try to tell my mom. She was like, how do you set the clock in the VCR? I'm like, you just go to the where it says clock. Yeah. that one. And she would just press the power. I'm like, that's the power. See how the clock turns off? And I would like, I'd go, go turn that back on. Yep. And she'd turn it back on. I'd go, now press the button that says clock. And she would hit the power. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and I'd be like, I'm going to jump through this fucking King phone. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but so, and then you turned it again. And then I was like, yo, hold on, stop. I was like, leave it where it is. And you were like, okay. And I was like, put your hand closest to your phone camera. And you touched it. And I go, great. You feel that divot right there? And you're like, yeah. I go, pull it. And you started to pull it and you went, ah, and like reached for your tendonitis elbow. And I was like, oh, fucking pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Like fucking, I did not reach for my tendonitis elbow. Opening a GoPro. It took you four or five tries well, to I, open that GoPro I didn't because you were afraid break. you were going to break it. Yo, dude, I don't know if you've seen these. Yeah, but I also don't know if it's you... It's easy. You I came out. I can't believe you switched away from that. Hold on a second. You I can't, can't see you. the inside, but the tendons are slowly tearing apart and falling apart. You if you, you sometimes can't open yeah. a bottle of water. That's many times. Or pick up a bag of groceries. Yeah. Yes. I'm also... You know, you know what I found out? Does this happen to you? I'm, you haven't told me yet, so I don't know. I'm, I'm just <laughs> promising you. <laughs> you. You should say, <laughs> you got to say that after. That's like you're trying to be a salesperson. Do you have to say it after? If I was going to say, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pre present a scenario. I think it's okay to say up front, does this ever happen to you? And then the scenario. Yeah, but then if you get a smart ass like me, I'm like, well, you haven't told me what happened yet. Yeah. I, nobody's ever said that to me before. <laughs> Caught you off guard. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but I'm going to ask you, has this ever happened to you? And now I'm not sure I remember what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, now I remember. Now I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching the early stages of dementia go back and forth. It's really like a ping pong ball <laughs> yeah. in my head. It's like that very first video game. The, the pong? pong? Oh, I was going to say paddle, but that works too. Bonk. I would beat the fuck out of you in pong. No, you would. I mean, you might. Pong? We could try it. I'm telling you, we have to have a video game competition of like mixed old school games and new games. I know I feel like every new game, if it's not a fighting game, because I hate playing fighting games with you. Why? I always you, win. You're a button smasher. Yeah, but I but I win. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I I've never understood that. Like for someone who can technically play it, like I can't even technically play the game. But if I'm right. still trying to do combos and whatnot, the fact that I can't even get off a punch because he's just spamming ka ka ka. Oh, I'm ka, fucking it's like, button uh, mashing like crazy. When not, I no I, joke. The last time him and I played a Mortal Kombat. <laughs> He didn't even hold the controller like a regular person. He put it on his knees in his lap and just did this. Yeah. Like we were playing on a joystick. And I was like, what the fuck is dude. happening? The dude almost just like perfect me. And I was, I was. Do you know what my favorite part of that is? How, you know, I, you know how, I, how upset I get. Yeah. 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 Because, because you know, taken, I don't care. I've taken myself out of those situations. And you know what's funny? When I try to button smash, for some reason, it doesn't work. Like I'll try to do it against him and I can't ever get a hit. Button so. smash or button mash? Both? Okay. Button smash, button smash, button smash, button mash. <laughs> my, my brain just broke there for a very quick second. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Wow, I don't even know what happened there. It just was like a like a stream of just words and sounds. And your, then uh, <laughs> your wires got so crossed. Oh, dude, yeah. I couldn't you even get out of it. I <laughs> <laughs> like, have you been watching murders only? So I just caught up. Oh, we're all caught up. Okay. By the way, you know what just Mondays. So last week's to me was meh. So meh. The first meh show of the entire It's been a pretty good season. See, Right? Even series. But last night, or Mondays, was great. Yeah. You know what happened right there for you? You just went to the white room. Well, big time. Like, you just big full time. on big had time. a straight up aneurysm and just blacked out. I love that show so much. That show is so good. I can't believe you just started watching it. Dude, we watched Barbie last night. Oh, how was it? Okay. First of all, fucking great. And, That's good. And horror, I will say this. For me to say a movie is fucking great is not, it's not like rare. However, 
for me to say a movie's fucking great after a month of hype where all you know what I mean? That's true. After I saw I saw Get Out after a month of hype. It's harder. It's harder because I don't even know what I was picturing. But you know, you hear about the money that 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 it made and all the hype and mm -hmm. And first of all, I want to say, if you are a grown human male and you were somehow got your feelings hurt by that movie, you are the biggest pussy. And I said this before without even seeing the movie. You did. Now, after I've seen it, you are the biggest pussy in the entire world. You are so soft. You are such a snowflake for so many reasons. First of all, yo, dude, it's a, 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 it's an artist's point of view. That's it. It's an artist's point of view. So, and it's not like, and we're, and were men depicted in a certain way? Yeah. But that's how men have always been depicted in Barbie. That's the point. No, 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 no. It's, you have to see it. I wouldn't say that about in Barbie because I don't know. It, Ken has just been Ken. There's never been like a Barbie movie before that's depicted men in this way. You're going to have to see the movie. Okay. Um, but like it had uh, Ryan Gosling and right. Margot Robbie. Right. Both incredibly funny, incredibly watchable people. This was one person's point of view and, and of what they see as a part of society. Right. Ken also, if you weren't such a pussy about it, had a very strong storyline. It was just more that the roles and the stereotypes were reversed. The, the Ken was in the more stereotypical female position, and the Barbie was in the more stereotypical male position. Okay. And if that threatens you somehow, you giant pussy, what makes me more upset is that I don't think that those people actually felt threatened. What makes me more upset is that there is that they continuously try to find things to divide us. That bothers the fuck out of me. It bothers there are there are a lot of smart people out there right now who are going for the paycheck and they're going for the paycheck by doing things to divide us. Right. And I think it's a terrible spot. It's such a it's such a bummer. But the movie was so so good, man, and it's such a cool take. And she has such a cool voice as an artist. And so I was I was really psyched that that movie did not disappoint, even at home, a month after it came out. I thought it was fucking fantastic. Good, that's good to hear. Yeah, man, I was really excited about it. Are you wearing pink today because of that? Am I wearing pink? Oh, the, is this pink? Well, yeah. I guess. No, I'm wearing it because it's your mom's hat. I'm wearing a different color. It's just of your mom's hat. Yeah. Um, but listen, dude, can I tell you? Okay. And I'm going to give my NFL pick at the end of the show. Everybody knows I am... Uh, two for two. Two for two. Yeah. Well, not on NFL bets, but on bets, bets per in weekend. General, one, one, one college and one NFL. Are we staying at a casino this weekend? Is that what you said? In Michigan? We are. I think at Har in Harris. Should we go, we'll go win another... Win some more money. Yeah, dude. You and yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Um, and this dude, by the way, at the dispensary up the street, w w wants us to come in. Just so it remind me to tell you what 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 place. Uh, oh, can I show that? Yeah, yes. Nevada made Mary. Is that the one on Saint uh, Saint, Saint Rose? Saint, yeah, yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. there before. Yeah. Nobody, nobody said anything to me. What a dick. Yeah, dude, our boy, I'm just kidding. <laughs> our boy, our boy Caesar is there. The facts. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I went in there and won a roulette wheel spin. Nice. They, they have like a, they have such a cool little like, so if you spend over a certain amount of money, yeah. you get a roulette wheel spin. And so literally when you walk in, there is a Vegas grade roulette wheel in the front of their, like in the front of the dispensary. Cause there's yeah. a big waiting area. That's like a lobby. Yeah, yeah. And then you walk in and you didn't see the roulette wheel. It's not, it wasn't there this afternoon. Oh, dude. It has to be. Oh, anyways. But yeah, you spend a certain amount of money. You spin the roulette wheel and you win a prize. And I won like the highest prize last time I was in there. Was what, what was the highest prize? Uh, oh, second highest prize. The first highest prize was like, was like, $200 towards an ounce, which mm -hmm. was, I thought was fire. And then the other one was like uh, a top shelf eighth. Nice. Which was fire. Um, we didn't mention the Denver shows. <sighs> First of all, wow. Yeah. R Four fucking fire shows. Yeah? Yeah. 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 That, that, 
you crushed. I crushed. I really felt like I did. I you had did a, so a super well. fun, super good so weekend. Well. Yep. But also the energy in those crowds in Denver was, I, it was, it was nuts. It was fucking unbelievable. Denver's one of those, like for me, top five cities to perform in for, for us. It's uh, that energy is really hard to Agreed. match. Like that first show Friday night, just like walking in and just that first, that first hearing the crowd was just like, yeah, y'all are Yo, did you think Friday here. early was your best show? Uh, no, nah, I did really well Saturday too. I don't know. I w- we have to get those sets. I want to. Those are four sets for they're, both of us that we want to watch. Yeah, they're coming I, this week. Yeah, okay, good. Because I want to watch them. Because I don't. I feel like I had a bet my best set Saturday, but I don't know which one. I I already forgot. Yeah, but I know that you know what I didn't forget is I forget I didn't forget I did well. You did for very sure. well. I was very proud of you. I am very proud of you. Thank you're, you. you're really. Um, and uh, was it, you know, at one point in time during Saturday afternoon, it was funny. He and I went into our respective rooms. We were staying in the comedy condo and um, we both started watching our sets. From, yeah. So that was awesome to, to see you doing the work. It's crazy. Stuff. How long ago was Orlando? A month? Yeah. Maybe a month and a half. The difference from what I'm doing now to what I was doing in Orlando is bonkers. Well, your growth at this, excuse me, your growth at this stage is going to be Exponential, yeah. It, but I'm I, when I watched something when I watched Orlando while like on Saturday after we had done my after we had done Friday and I had done as well as I did. I remember watching those Orlando sets going, I don't even like these. Like, I, there's already things I've taken out a month and a half later that do better. There's things I've added in that are funnier, uh, more like uh, you know, punctuation and, and certain things in certain spots, like. Punchlines are hitting better, flow is better, energy is better. Like it's already leaps forward for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but you should continue to watch those sets. That's how you grow. Yeah, no, I, I, I want to watch yeah. these sets from Denver. Because you should also, watch the sets you don't like as much, also. Yeah, but yeah. the Orlando sets are the only sets I have. Okay, okay. I, if there's a Google Drive for all our sets, I would love it. But you like, just got to reach out to Tommy. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I will say Friday or Friday late mushroom show that. Now, I thought Orlando Mushroom Show was the best show. That Denver late Mushroom Show, the first 15 minutes of just fuck about, yeah. were amazing. Um, like, amazing. It's it, For those of you who, who don't know, I do Mushrooms every Friday late show. And they are turning into exactly what I want them to be. Exactly. There were some people who want mushrooms there, which I think is fun. Yep. Um... But the the vibe and the flow, all of it is really shaping. And by the way, guys, it's still a comedy show. I don't want you thinking I'm taking five grams and we're going off into never, meditating. Never, never land. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're doing a comedy show, but it's just a little bit weird. Yeah, weird. I, I thought it was amazing. Well, have you ever thought about doing the dance off at the mushroom show? Oh no. Would you? Why not? I think maybe Saturday do that one. Okay, I, I'm just, I should no, do I'll, dance off more often, huh? Uh, yeah, definitely. But I also think you should read the crowd. Like I think there are certain crowds you do it with, and certain crowds you don't. Like I feel like it's not something you should do every weekend. But I think if you're feeling like if that Saturday Night Late show is is one of those shows where you're having fun with the crowd, but they're still being respectful, but not too rowdy, but still got some energy. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. read you read rooms really well. So if you feel that rowdy but respectful energy. I would do the dance off. You know, I got to say something. I might, I might even come out like if I feel that also, I might just come out and be like, dance off. The dance off is it never fails. It's always great. It's always funny. But the thing is, I'm having so much fun telling these new stories right now. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. But like, so it, it's up to you because the dance off isn't going to cut into your stories. The dance off cuts into your music time. You mean do dance off instead of music? Yeah, yeah, because like you're still technically doing music. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. and then also if you have time to do one send off, depending on if we do it, because we'll probably do a Q and A before that, mm-hmm. and then you and I'll be like, should we do a dance off? And then we'll do a dance off. People will come up. We'll do our thing. If you have enough time to do a send off, you do a send off, and then we go do a meet and greet. Uh, I, uh, okay. Like yep. it, it, it just you, you just have to we'll pick do and choose. We'll do it. In, uh, the Omaha stage isn't big enough to do it. The Omaha stage. What about Harris that. this weekend? In Michigan? Yeah. No, oh, no, no. I don't have enough time for that. Yeah. yeah. Wait, okay. Uh, we'll talk about that. Yeah, off. yeah. Off the air. 
Yeah, wait. Yeah, okay. Oh, I, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get to ask questions before yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just said one sentence yeah. and I was like, hold the fucking phone. What? Did you? Oh, I sent you that video of me. Of the deadlift? Yeah. I, I, did you get my text about how I got scared for you when you went to lift it up? Yeah. Because when you went to lift it up, I did that once. And I remember my lifting coach going, no, no. What? What did you do that for? And I yeah. was like, that's how I pick it up. He goes, no, no. He goes, don't jerk your back like that. And that's, and you're stronger than me. And, and I just saw you use your legs, but when you lifted your back up like that, I was like, ah, okay. He's okay. Like, and then you did it the first, wasn't, it may have looked, but I did use my legs. I know you did. Yeah. Just when I saw it, cause yeah. all I saw was shoulders and back. And yeah. I was like, ah, stop it. What is that? Because no. also you were in pants. So I couldn't see you bend your knees or anything. No, yeah, I, I, I used my legs. I promise. And I know you did because if you did, you would have thrown everything out in that moment. For sure. That's how I know you did use your legs because yeah. you didn't crumble to the floor. Exactly. And do you always, when you deadlift, do, do you do that over under grip? Or did, you, did do, you just start doing that? I just started because grip wise, it helps when you're slipping. You have that little bit of extra. Yeah, you, you, you go right hand under or left over? hand under. Just weak hand under. Is that what they say? That's what, how it is for me. I can hold more with this hand, with my right hand. So I'll take the weaker grip, and the, I can't hold as much. The two twenty, look the two twenty five to me, which is what I did. It's four and, reps. F- four reps. It was my fourth set. I had already done a set of two hundred five and one eighty five and one before then. And I'm gonna tell you something else, guys. You could have gotten six easy, dude. You need to get those wrap grips. I could have gotten six. I want to buy you a pair of those grips. I, I want to tell everybody something. And this is like so, okay, a year and a half ago, I moved here a very unhealthy 148 pounds. True. I was unknowingly sick for about a year. Mm-hmm. I just thought, whatever. I don't know what I thought. And um, I went back into the gym uh because the gym, my entire life, has been like my reprieve. A crutch. Not a crutch, but like a... Not yeah, a crutch. Not a, uh, 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 it's been therapy. a... Therapy. Yeah. It's, it's like a... It's like... Look, it's like... Um, it's always made me feel better mentally and physically. Mm-hmm. And I needed a little boost on both of those. I needed... I needed... And so I started, man, at 148 in week, because I had been sick for a year... Yo, it was super frustrating for a guy who had spent six days a week in the gym for his whole life. Yeah. And how winded I got uh, and how weak I was and how, not just how weak I was, how weak I felt. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, 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 so I went back in there and this is a year and a half later. I'm, I'm back up to a manageable 168. I wouldn't mind putting on seven more pounds just to get back up to 175. Mm -hmm. Um, And my goal had been just to be able to do 225 four times. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, in my head, 225 once. Yeah. And when Just to know that you can do it. Yeah, dude. And when I started, I was having major difficulties at 135. Like, major. But also, Romanian deadlifts are so fucking hard. That's how I hurt my back right before COVID, and I haven't been the same since. Well, I the Romanian is instead of dropping it. Yeah, yeah, that's but also, like but also, it's like it. I like the the drop of the deadlift because also you get like it's more of a reset, and you still get that extra drive coming from the ground using your legs. Do you know what I'm saying? That Romanian deadlift is you. You don't get to put it down. That's which, why I like it. It's constant resistance. Yeah. You should get those wraps, dude. Those hand wraps. So you lock... You've, you've seen them before. You've seen power yeah, lifting, yeah. right? You lock it on that, and then you just tie it around the bar, and you grab that. It. I've used them. They're awesome. I've used them, too. I want to be able to... I, I want to be able to throw that weight around without the help of anything. So if I need to keep lifting and getting heavier... Look, if we get to the point where I'm... But I don't think I will. You should do forearm exercises. Do you do I, enough? I, like not not lifting that also include, but do you do solo forearm stuff? I don't do any of those small. I don't do triceps, biceps, forearm. I don't do any of that. Forearm will help with your grip. I, I know, but I hold so much weight. I'm I'm getting it. That's that's basically okay. Yeah, yeah. But okay, uh, bec- because dude, I, I and I may change up my workout, but that's not where I'm at right now. I I can't imagine ever doing a a bicep curl or a tricep extension or anything like that ever again. 
I just watched you do curls this weekend. Yeah, but not we're not doing straight power lift now. I can't imagine I'm going to do that anymore. I just don't because it it puts extra wear. Well, you can't also really power lift in a, in a hotel gym. No. No, 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 no. It's but I really want to get stronger. You can still get stronger with dumbbells. But my, you know, the tendonitis in my bicep, dude, I have to really just kind of save what I've got. Fair enough. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to save what I got. Um, tell me what you want to talk about today. There's been an update on the eels. Oh, remind everybody from last week. Okay, so last week we t- I talked about, my, my girlfriend and I were talking about um, how this weird fact about eels, about how nobody knows where they come from, and how this is where they're suspected where they've come from. We've never seen a fertilized eel egg. We've never seen eels mate in captivity. Uh, the uh, the dissections done on, on, on thousands done on eels. They have no reproductive organs, all this stuff, right? Like, eels are a mystery. And we got a lot of eel comments too. And apparently they also come from the Bermuda Triangle and the Sargosa Sea. Mm-hmm. So the update is for the very first time, they have had eels mate in captivity. Since last week? Since last week. Because apparently this shit blew up on TikTok and everybody was like, we should probably figure out what the fuck's going on. Hey, everybody. We'll take credit for that over here on Hey Man. Ding, 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 ding. Our first scientific discovery. We now have seen eels fuck and tell me what we saw. So uh, eels do have reproductive organs. But like I said last week, every eel goes through certain stages of life. So until eels are on the last stage of their life, they do not have reproductive organs. Until they hit their last cycle of life, then their body legitimately grows and produces reproductive organs. Which Plural? I, well, you know, like... Oh, a male gets a dick. Yeah, and a, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, correct, yeah. correct. Um, and so... That happens at a certain stage. And then, so that's the last cycle of life. I'm pretty sure. So they go through their life. They get to be kid free. And then in the last stage of their life, imagine that. Imagine that's when humans gave birth. You were good. You were good until you were 80. And then they were like, time to pop out some kids. Uh, yo, dude, if I didn't grow a dick till I was 80, I would be a problem. What would that's, I have done in my teens and 20s? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> let, let me tell what, you something. What would any guy have done? I will tell you something right now. We'd have a lot more scientists. I mean, you know what I mean? We might, we, we might have, we might be a small, uh, all around more. If you didn't have to society. worry about fucking until you were 80, which by the way, sounds like a hassle. Wow. But then again, we could have, we could just Benjamin button everybody if we have the technology because no one's focused on fucking. We're all focused on um, uh, making the world a better place and advancing. That's what I'm saying. So we could all be old and young or, and then young as old. Can you imagine if uh, with all that young person energy? None of it was funneled into sex. It was all just funneled into whatever the is world right below sex. That's crazy. We Eight. have some of the best athletes ever. Yeah, but dude, we'd also have a lot of people dying during sex. 80? But that's what I'm saying. Like if it, if like all that thought went into te- into technology instead, we were a more advanced society when you're born, you could just be Benjamin Buttoned and just oh, made God, an God. 80-year-old person and then age backwards. So then by the time you're in your final cycle of life, right? You get your reproductive organs and you're young and spry. What is that animal where the male detaches their penis? Octopus. And gives it to the woman? Octopus. The female? Yeah. <laughs> because I think it, what it said is that the feet, or it's a certain type of octopus. It's not all octopi. Um, is octopu? Uh, no. That's plural in French. Octopu. Is it? I don't know. No, it's not. Like, do you know? You don't think Jacques Cousteau was in like easy, easy, easy octopus? Do, no, um, that wasn't French. No, no, no. I just oh. don't think he's ever said that. Oh, easy octopus. No, that wasn't French. Let me try this. I don't think he understands what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's not <laughs> French, Matt. I'm, I'm just, I'm just. Saying oh, you're no. saying he hasn't said that? Yes. Oh, I'm also just saying no. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you understand what I was saying? Okay, cool. Because I wasn't trying to say that it wasn't French. I was just trying to say you didn't have to do all that for us. <laughs> was, we all could have gone the rest of our lives without the octopus. Ooh, 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 look at the octopus. Is that German? That's why I just keep saying no. Because <laughs> you just keep straying further and further away from what we're talking about. But so do you remember what we're talking about? Uh, octopi, octopi throwing their penis, octopi. There you go. <laughs> so, so it's a certain type of octopi. Um, the one, the the female after they mate, I think, 
eats the male or something like that. So to avoid that, the male rips off his dick, throws it at the woman and says, I want to live my life, but take my dick. You imagine doing that? Like if that was us, it was just like a drive by, you would just drive by somebody's house and just Just like a news, like a newspaper. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, but you'd have to, but imagine the morning dicks here. Imagine you drive, imagine drive by, you throw the dick and then you're like, Oh shit. Got to go back. Forgot the balls. Because the balls are what produces the semen. You or, can't just throw one. You just can't just throw the shaft. It what doesn't if you do were, anything. <laughs> the shaft is just pointless without the nuts. What if you what? And what if you just didn't have a good didn't have a good aim? And like one morning you woke up with two dicks on your, like somebody just wasn't a good dick tosser. So you had multiple people multiple people throwing dicks at you. Well, I mean, if you are, I mean, dudes are. By the way, that sounds like a terrible way to live. Dudes are throwing dicks. Dick throwing do you, dudes. You don't never get that dick back, right? It doesn't grow back. Once the octopus throws his dick, there's no dick replacement. He's dickless. I think so. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's plastic surgery for an octopus. To no, get his I understand, dick back. but I don't know if it's like you know. Under li- the sea, <laughs> <laughs> under the sea, throw your penis. I'll make another under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Disney, listen, don't sue us. Listen. But, like, lizards grow their tails back. Yeah, but tails and dicks are so different. Are they? One can help produce offspring. Yeah. And one is a cool accessory. Technically, both are cool accessories, but that's beside the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) yeah, yeah. (laughs) But, so, like, how do you... Then you're dickless, and you're just swimming around the ocean? Yeah, then you're just... Probably a lot less pressure. Yeah, you're just an octopus minding his own business. Hey, all you gotta do is avoid your like three predators. I'm so curious. Like, how do you pick your mate? How do they pick their mate? Well, I th- and then I, they I just swim by and drop a dick on them. I don't think it matters at that point how they pick their mate. They're throwing their dick at him. Who cares? They're like first female they see. Take it. I don't want to die. That you think that's how they do it? They that's just, how I would do it. How do they know that female doesn't already have a dick in her tentacles? How do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? I know she can hold eight dick. Like yeah, that. yeah. So I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> I would love to see an octopus with the eight arms, like with eight dicks. Like, ah. I don't know if they make that noise, but I bet you you could find it though. But I'm so curious. And, and here's what I like. I know Google could find all that out for me right now, but I like guessing more. I don't. So I, here's my guess. I. Th- you make a guess, I'll make a guess. Well, I think just like a lot of animals who have to mate, they have to perform some sort a lot of them have to perform some sort of ritual to attract a mate, right? So I, I don't know who has to perform said ritual, but say if, like if the guy has to perform the ritual to attract a mate, he does the ritual, he attracts the mate, he figures out that's his mate, he throws his dick at her, and then he leaves. <laughs> or the female does the mating dance. The male is like, oh, I'm attracted to that. And how I'm attracted to it is I take my dick off and throw it at her. And then I run away. So those are my two options. Um, show me throwing dick. I um, just, fucking, I don't know. Like, I really, because, those are, those you know, are they my, got the arms. Why right? do you keep doing this? Because I'm doing this. <laughs> they got the arms, This right? isn't the dick rodeo, okay? But I, like, I want to see video of the dick toss. Is it like a woo? No, it's is probably come like a, sexy. It's probably like this. Is it a drive by? It's probably like a drive by. I would assume it's this. <laughs> ah, he yeah. swims away and just says, "Don't kill me." Like yeah. I don't know. I can't imagine it's sexual. I, I mean, I mean, I, I guess I, it kind of is because it involves a, a dick. If and, you were gonna throw your dick at somebody, tomahawk style. Oh, you go like this. Oh, I'm going for intent. Absolutely. Yeah, I might tomahawk. This this is for sure. Like, like also, I feel like if I'm throwing my dick at a, at a, at like, look, if this was our society, You're right. and I'm getting rid of my dick, which is a thing that all men cherish, and I'd probably be upset about it, I'm going to, like, try and hit you in the face with it. Like, I'm going to be like, like, one more, like, one more laugh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm throwing a dick at your face. But with, mal- not, not malicious intent, but if I, if I hit you in the eye, we're in good shape. Okay. Let me ask you. And then probably the balls separately. as like a... <laughs> yeah, you know what I would do? I would... I would... <laughs> I would underhand the dick, the balls. So oh. you looked up for him, and then I would just oh, I, dick I, you right I, in the I face. I think I would do the other way. So I would throw the dick really high. Then you'd look, and then I'd throw, and then I'd throw the balls one at a time. Yeah, and then hit you to where you fall, and then the dick just. How big are your balls? Where you think you're going to knock me over with them? You want to find out? Nope. <laughs> 
but, no, but like hit you somewhere with it or like I can also hit you in the face with the balls and then you're distracted and then you get hit in the face with the I want to know wh- like if this was something that human dudes did I think it would be important to have a good catchphrase when you threw your dick. I think it would have to be like a ritual. Like there would be a hall of fame of dick throwing catchphrases. But I, I'm, I'm asking you like what around are were your, your instinct. Like part of me might just go Dirk Nowitzki. Take that with you. I will go straight Pokemon. Got to catch them all. No, I choose you. Oh, I love. I choose I you. I choose you. Goof. Or just throw the ball like a Pokeball first. It's so I'm it's fascinated. Funny. I'm actually, this is something I've, usually I like to just fuck around and I don't Google it, but I'm going to Google it. Oh, I know you are. I'm curious. And I also have another thing that I think is going to be on your, on your Google. Yeah. Tentacle porn. Tentacle porn. Because you wanted to see an octopus with eight dicks that you can find that in tentacle porn. So what's tentacle porn? Like hentai? What's like, hentai? You don't know what this is? You never, you've never seen, not seen, but you don't know any reference to what I'm talking about? Hentai? Can it's I, like, can it's, I guess? Yeah, 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 sure. <sighs> well, I said tentacle. That should kind of give it away. Uh, why does that <laughs> give it away? Tentacle, hentai. Okay, you, okay, you, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. Hentai. You want me to spell it for you? Yep. H E N T A I. Hentai. Hentai? Hentai. Okay. Hentai and tentacles. Okay, so it's... And tentacle porn. Oh. Oh, that's, so hentai is a weird name for animal porn. No. Hentai is is what you say when you watch animals have sex. No. Hentai is... You're still stuck on animals. Well, you said tentacle. Branch out a little more. What else has a tentacle that's not an animal? What has a tentacle that's Think not... Think sci-fi, a- goddammit. It's not supposed to be real. Oh, uh, Little Shop of Horrors porn. Feed me, Seymour. I mean, Feed me. I guess that's kind of, I guess, closer than animal porn, I guess, right? Yeah. It's tentacle porn, but not animals? Correct. What has a tentacle? By the way, the more you say tentacle, the less it sounds like a word. Tentacle, 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 tentacle. <laughs> Tentacle, 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 tentacle. <laughs> He's trying to annoy me, and I'm just watching him. His, he just went to the white room again. You had a straight up, that's the second aneurysm on this show. Tentacle, tentacle, tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> that legit <laughs> is the second aneurysm on this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But listen, dude, I'm trying to get into some hentai. No, you're not. I'm not. You want to know what it is? It's like it's like animated porn. It's like animation. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing Bart and Homer. A uh, Bart and Homer. Bar- whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa! Pause. I meant Homer and Marjorie. Pause. Why'd you say Marjorie? What did Marjorie? you just call her Marge? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marjorie. What the fuck? <laughs> Might as well just call her Marmalade at this point. That's her full name. Marjorie Simpson, dude. Yeah, but why did you call her Marjorie? I just wanted it to be (laughs) formal. Yeah, you wanted it to be formal that you wanted to see her get fucked. That's what it is. But if I was going to watch one cartoon, this is a lot of, you know, we were talking animal sex and now cartoon sex. So I apologize, everybody. I mean, I guess it still could be animal sex because cartoon characters are animals. What? What do you mean they're animals? What do you mean? What do I mean? There are some cartoon characters oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, are yeah. animals. Oh, I feel my. like that was a pretty basic statement. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of... That was a pretty easy one. Um, But, like, if I was going to watch two cartoon characters have sex... They got to be same universe. They do? Yeah. That's the whole fucking point. It's like mm. a taboo thing. Same universe. Same show. Same show? Oh, no. If like, if, like, you could do DC Universe. You could do, like, a Marvel Universe. Like, whatever. Mm-hmm. I would love to see... Take the enthusiasm, enthusiasm down a little bit. Peter Griffin have sex with that dude in the wheelchair. Joe? Yeah. 
That's fucked up. <laughs> that is fucked up. Why did we start? Why? Yeah, why? I, why? I can't imagine that I would want to see any animated people having sex. It's just not interesting. To yeah, me. but so, no, so by the way, it's not animals. Aliens. Aliens. Tentacles. Like weird shit, right? Like so there's like animated girls having sex with like weird aliens. People watch animated porn? Why not just watch the porn? Because you, when you were a kid, you didn't have a crush on any cartoon character. Jessica Simpson, not Jessica Simpson, Jessica, Jessica Rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. So if you were, yeah, but if you had been like, do you want to watch a video of Jessica Rabbit having sex or these real people? I'd have been like, ah, uh, yeah, the real people. Yeah, just but if you look at it's it's more of a unfortunately my generation thing because there are there are so many <sighs> delusional. Kids, and I mean that in all and the niceness possible. But I have it's not really nice, anyways. No. But there were kids I went to school with who were like, "Oh, I'm I'm dating this character," and they were full fledged, pathologically lying to everybody and themselves that they were dating a cartoon character. Well, there was that person who married a ghost last year. My point is, like, there are people who have issues. Who this is how they come out. Is I'm like I'm the the person who has like sexual uh, relationships with like a train or a car or pool floaties or yeah. like but yeah it's like that same kind of shit so yeah not for me no I'm good yeah I mean listen I, f- I feel like well we, you and I don't need to talk about that no we didn't have to get this far into the conversation yeah yeah, yeah I could have yeah. just told you what hentai porn was and then we could have moved on so tell me did you watch the eel video what eel video about them having sex I didn't post a video about it oh it was just new information. Correct. Oh, okay. Just newly released information. Okay. Oh, um, I did some mushrooms last night. And? Super fun. I actually did some of those pills. I did like wow, one and a half grams or something last night. Can I tell you, like, when I do mushrooms and it's me and Iman and, and we're just sitting at home, like, legit, we'll just sit and watch TikTok. Like, we watched TikTok for like three straight hours last night of just me on mushrooms and her being high and us just scrolling through funny videos. Like... I haven't laughed that hard. I don't remember what was so funny. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Well, there's one, the joke I'm not going to make. We'll talk about it after because it, it's just not a joke for the podcast. It's like a, you know, it's an at home joke, yeah, right? Yeah. And so, but we were watching this video and there's these videos that we watch on her for you page. And it's of these people in a different country. It looks like somewhere in Asia is my guess. And they're, they do competitions to win like extra food or cooking supplies for like their household. So like if like one of them is you have to roll a ball like up a ramp and get it in the hole and then you get like a big bag of flour and oil so you can cook, right? Obviously everybody gets fed. It's just like an extra bonus way for people to um, win some more food for their family. And one of the competitions was these people stand on a small little surface that's uh, just barely above the water level of a little pool. And there's two people on each side throwing something that you have to jump over and lay, and you have to keep repeatedly landing on this little spot. I've never seen two people have more fun throwing something at people because they could hold it for as long as they wanted. So they would go and then make you jump and then on your way down just fucking whip it at your legs and so it would just sweep you out and it was just people who just kept getting swept by this fucking branch funny and they would like and they would get one jump and this dude would just go like get it to him and he would just go woof and just throw it and clip them and they'd fall and like fall in the water or hit something and they just came out of it and the thing is everybody has to cheer for it when you come out so the people who just got hit on the first one just came out and they were like, hey, thanks. And <laughs> all you got was a little participation water bottle if you didn't get any, or it was like a canola canola oil about that size. But you would just get fucking swept. You'd be soaked. You'd have a bruised rib. And the people would be like, yeah, great job. And you'd be like, fucking, here's I, this. It I was love so funny. That arm that, that, the arm that goes around and people having to jump over it. Yeah. That always is a ton of fun. I'll I, tell you something. I like watching the kids do it because it's like one goes low and one goes high. Yeah. So the kids are only looking low and then they just get good goof. It's pretty funny. I, I, you know, I love, um, I love, um, watching people fall. Uh, it's a rabbit hole. I love it so much, guys. And people have asked me about this. For the, for those of you who have asked me about this on my Facebook fan page, they're like, um, you, uh, because I'm posting compilation videos of people falling, right? And, 
And people are like, that, why are you doing that? It seems off brand. It's actually, I watch the video so much and I, and it is so on brand it's for me. It's extremely on brand. That I went into business with those people who own those videos so I could share the videos that I watch with you guys. That's, uh, that's all it is. One guys. of my favorite pages, and this is going to probably drive some people up a wall, but relax. My favorite page on Instagram is kids getting hurt. Oh, you do like that. You send that, me videos from that all the time. That fucking page is so funny. They're because they're actually getting hurt. No, yeah. it's just like, it's it's things that happens to every everybody's kids growing up. Like, it probably happened to you as a kid. It's going to happen to your kids, your kids' kids. Like, it's just kid shit. Because kids are just drunk, drunk, drunk little people. Yeah. And they're not smart. And they have no conscious of what's fucking happening in the world around them. And God, what bliss it would be in to live like that again. Like, just thinking, like, think about it. Think about it. Not a care of the world. You yeah. shit yourself. You get fed. You sleep whenever you want. And you play with whatever you want. By the, the way. The, and not a care of the world about what is happening, about anything other than what's in front of your face sounds fucking awesome. Just so you know, I think I'm probably 30, 30 years away from that. So that oh, also, wow. that comes back around. Yeah, um, but but like, so, and also in every caption, it's like, so this happened to the kid, and then it's like, dad said he was okay, or parents said he was okay. It's like, kids falling off monkey bars, or falling off Those aren't bikes, my favorite, those aren't my favorite. Or, or, um... It's the ones where the dogs run them over. Oh, God, that one's Like when too. someone's playing fetch with a dog and the dog turns to run and there's a kid there. Or my favorite ones are like the kids sledding and the dog's like, what is that? And it's yeah, like the tackle yeah, yeah, open yeah, field yeah, yeah, yeah. is so that, good. That, that makes me Or laugh. the cats just standing up on hind legs and batting babies on the head. Like, Yo, dude, I, all those things are funny. You know why? Because nobody actually really got hurt. It's just funny kid shit. I don't know. I, I the cat baps. I've really in started to enjoy. It. Fresh, started fresh, to, fresh pair of skippity paps. Yeah, that's a Tony Baker. Yeah, right? that's a Tony, Tony Baker. Baker. His voiceovers so are fucking, fucking ridiculous. Funny. God Golly, damn. shout out Tony Baker. Yeah, dude. Uh, uh, but I, I will tell you, I, I I've really started my Instagram feed is so much kinder now that I've just I'm honestly cat, dog, other animal videos. You know what pops up a lot mm. is odd is odd animals getting along like a deer and a dog in Love the backyard. That. You know what do, you know what animal I've been trying to convince Amanda to let me get? That's monkey. not a, not a dog. No, it's not a monkey. G what, give me a guess. Yeah. A Far, guess? farm animal. Ooh, goat. No nope. ba baby goat. Nope. Sheep. Nope. Llama. Nope. Cow? Yes. Where are you gonna put a fucking cow, dude? Who the fuck cares? Let's get a cow. They're so fucking cute. Get a little I can get a cow with dwarfism and he'll just stay small. I don't think that's a hundred percent a thing. I Google it. Cows with dwarfism is a hundred. I'm sure it's a thing, but I don't know if they sell them because dwarf. I'm I bet, you Google, I a, I bet you I can find a rescue. They probably I, don't sell them to anybody, but I, I can get gonna, a farm. I am going to Google right now. Let's let's buy a farm and I can get a cow. Please, I want a cow. I am going to Google. You know, there's a cow sanctuary in Hawaii where you can go pay twenty bucks and cuddle with cows. Nah, I want to do that. Why? Why the fuck not? They're like docile. They're like. It's big dogs. Okay, dwarf cows for sale. Here we are. Nice. Mini cows for sale. How much do dwarf miniature cows cost? Probably like five grand. Okay. How many acres does one mini cow need? Okay. A house. Here we go. You can have all of my house. What is the smallest cow pet? Is that what I should look at first? Sure. Let's go to the... How much does it do any... Oh, a miniature cow... The prices for these adorably small cows can range from around fifteen hundred to three thousand. That's cheaper than I thought. Yeah, on top of the original cows, teacup mini cows will also require regular vet visits. Yet yeah, no shit. Yeah, because he's food, not supposed to be that small. And enough food to maintain their health. Yeah, that's the same for everything that is alive. Thanks yeah. for the thanks. Yeah, obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> can I have a mini cow in my backyard? This is what we really want to know. How? Uh, yeah, because the backyard has to be big enough. I can't fit him in that side yard. You don't need to own a farm anymore to have a cow. These mini cows can be r right at your home because they're smaller and easier to maintain. Whoa! Let's I get a cow. am now. Let's get a cow. On Let's get board. a cow. Let me just check out the images. Yes. Oh, they're so fucking cute. Oh, what? Look at that dude that right there. Let's get a cow. Oh, look at that fucking fuck? thing. That's what I'm saying. They're so cute. I might have to tell your mom it was my idea and get a mini cow. Woo! Yeah, dude, that's awesome. That's what I'm saying. They're so fucking cute. What are we going to name this mini cow? I don't know. It depends on what color. Cow cow? No. Now cow? How now brown cow? Brown cow, how now? No, cow? no, no. Well, it depends on the color of the cow. I what Like if, I if he's a black cow, I want, like predominantly black and not white, I want to name him Shadow. 
And then if he's if he's all white but has like like and then his hooves are black, obviously I want to name him Boots because it I, looks like he's wearing boots. I'm I'm just gonna name him Jacob. Okay. And then I'll be pictured. Then I'll take a picture in the backyard with with him and just be like Jacob and Jacob. <laughs> Sounds great. I'd love to have a cow named after me. Because then you'd be you'd be calling me the pet's name like you always do anyway. So yeah, you I would do. Never I get do. I call you Indiana a you, lot. You used I to call him. him I, I call you, him. Ja- I call Indiana Jacob all the time. You used to call me Rocky every day. You'd be like, "Hey, Rock." I mean, Jacob. I'd be like, "What the fuck, man?" Yeah, my fault. My fault. Yeah, my fault. yeah. No, let's uh, get a cow. T- all right, now listen. We're almost done. Do you have anything else you want to get to? Because I want to get to the football. No, nah, pretty much the whole mushroom thing was just that I enjoy my, like. How, How do you feel that? this morning? So everybody, people who haven't taken mushrooms. Oh, I was up to like three thirty last night. Oh, really? Huh? I wasn't. I even, can't sleep on mushrooms, bro. I wasn't even tripping. I know, not one point five. But I, I had a little vibrations, but mm-hmm. also I was smoking weed during it. Like, I, I found a, I found a, a, a vape cartridge, so I didn't have to get up because I don't smoke inside. I take bong rips and I blow it out the window. Yeah. But with the vape, I was like, oh, I don't have to fucking get up. This is great. So I was just vibing on the couch. But we were having so much fun, like. I, I find that obviously I love doing drugs with my friends. Like I, I have a buddy of mine who, you know, he's, I, I we're not going to post this, but my buddy McKay, who was with us here in Vegas uh, a couple weekends ago is my drug buddy. We do drugs together. Like that's like when I trip or do anything like that, yeah, McKay's, we're not going to post that clip, but you know, this does go on the internet. Well, yeah, but like people, well, I do drugs. Okay. Well, yeah. 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 I'm just making sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, but like, yeah, so he's my, he's my drug buddy. We do hallucinogens together. But like, I will say, even though Iman doesn't do it, I like doing mushrooms with her, like, cause she always hangs out with me is so much fun. Yeah. It is. A, it is so much fun. Like I want to do it more, but I don't want to be taking mushrooms once a week. I mean, I could. I mean, I do. Yeah. I just hate the taste of them. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I also, I don't have a bunch at my house like you do. Oh, I do. Correct. That's what I just said. <laughs> I'm going to take them again Friday. By the way, this week, guys, Minneapolis, right? Tomorrow night or t- that'll be tonight. Because this will get posted tomorrow. Correct. Tonight we're in Chicago. Uh, Friday night, Minneapolis. With, with Jack's not grass. With Jack's not grass at the Vic Theater. Still some c- seats available for that. But no seats, I don't think, available for Minneapolis. I don't think there are any seats available for Harris, Michigan. I need to send you a name to put down for the Chicago show tomorrow. It's Kiki. Yep. Seats available. Cool. Well, I'm going to send that to you. Um, and then the week after that, I'm, we're in Calusa and Napa. You're in Calusa and Calusa and Napa. Napa. Uh, Brad Wallach will be there with me, and also <sighs> Bethany Wolf will be there. And the week after that, we are in Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha! I've never been to Nebraska, so I can't wait. Uh, with Lee Syatt. Um, yes. But listen, last I am 2-0 and with betting. Um, w- wait, question though. Yeah. 2-0 and with betting, but haven't placed a bet. Uh, I'm just giving winners. Oh, okay. Guys, here's my winner of the week. If you want it, if you want to make some money, here you go. I, and I don't usually take road dogs. I mean, road uh, uh, favorites. Roadhouse. And I normally would take one of these big spreads. Um, but, but I here's the thing. I think New Orleans has a good defense. I think Derek Carr is a decent quarterback. I think they have decent weapons. I think that Carolina, I just don't, I I just don't think that, I think Carolina is going to be, it's going to take a little bit for Carolina to be good this year with Frank Reich. And I'm going to take New Orleans on the road, giving the three. What is, I don't know what that means. New Orleans has to win by more than three. Now, this is a ballsy bet, everybody. uh, They're playing Carolina? At Carolina. So take New Orleans minus the three. This is... So so I'm just clarifying, so I know what you're talking about. You think New Orleans is going to win on the road by three or more? Yeah. This is a, to me, this is a ballsy pick. Who are the Bengals playing? Uh, The Bengals are playing... Okay, this is a very interesting game. Okay, and I but they're playing Baltimore in in Cincinnati, but they're getting the hook. Baltimore's getting the hook at three and a half minus three and a half for Baltimore plus three and a half. So that means 
minus three and a half. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, Joey B is not going to do that two weeks in a row. I agree with you, but I think Baltimore, oof. I would take Cincinnati with a three and a half. To win by three and a half or more? Yeah, so they got him by three and a half. I would, I would take that. Yeah, they're going to be mad gumming it. I think they're going to win by a lot more than three and a half, though. Okay. I think Joe Burrow is going to throw for 350 yards. Here's what I think what we, we saw happen in the first week is we saw that people decided not to play in the preseason, or although he was hurt. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're they were rusty. Yeah. So much about offense is timing, and their the offenses look terrible. Yeah, I will say though, on another note, really bummed not to be able to see Aaron Rodgers play this season as a Jet because yeah. I was I did even though we're Pats fans, I did really want to see what that team was going to look like. However, Jets fans, you guys just can't have anything nice. I, you you just you just can't you just I like I don't. Uh, look, I'm sorry, but I'm not because you're Jets fans. I but was, at the same time, it's like y'all can't ever have anything fucking nice. Y'all got the win, which was great. Zach Wilson had a better QBR than like four of the highest paid quarterbacks ever in the league. However, that's not going to last very long. Here's my thing. I, I just I just think it's as Pats fans, and I hate to say that because I don't <laughs> like that Rodgers got hurt, but I think it's really funny. That it, it's just oh, got to be Jets. J-E-T-S. Uh, Jets, Jets, Jets. I, Motherfucker. I feel terrible for Aaron Rodgers. I feel terrible for the Jets. I don't wish injury on anybody. But I'm as disappointed as Jets fans would have been if Brady had gone down. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, 100%. 100%. I, I, I don't, Jets fans, I don't feel bad for at all. As a matter of fact, Jets fans, New Yorkers, I think you know where I'm coming from. I'm relishing in how upset you are. The legit tears I saw on TV, Bro. I don't want to say they made me happy, but the, but I was chuckling. But oh, I feel, for I sure. Feel, I feel bad for him. I feel bad for, for the, the organization organi and the players. Like I don't wish injury on anybody, but as far as the New York fans, eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Look, with that happening, yeah. and the Yankees possibly finishing in last place and not making a playoff with how Amazing. stacked the AL East Amazing. is. The Knicks are always going to be terrible. I hope so. The Giants are not going to be good this oh, year. It's so great. It is. Look, even if the Sox aren't going to make the playoffs, finish before the finish before the Yankees, possibly still going to have a better record than the Jets this year. Let, let's not say finish before the Yankees. That sounds dirty, but it isn't. Finish in front of the Yankees. That sounds dirty. <laughs> finish with a better record than the Yankees. <laughs> Look, for me, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, for me, as a, what classifies as a good sports year doesn't mean that any Boston team has to win a championship. As long as we oh, fuck, how do I say that sentence without making it sound dirty? As long as all the Boston sports teams finish in a better placing. Oh, good. Than any New I, York team. I just it's a love, good sports I year. love I love I love watching New York sports fans melt down. So that's really my Yeah. And yeah. then they start screaming, the 27 championship. Yeah. But that's the only sports team they have that for. Yeah. Like 27 championships with one sport. Like, could it's, fucking grasp. It's still pretty great, but. Yeah, it's pretty great. But, but like, that's all you got. That's all you got. And, and not only that, it, sports is a very much this year. What's happening this year? To me, there's no rich. You don't get credit for your teams being good in the 50s. The Who only thing the only thing they have is the 27 championships and the two rings over Brady that dumb face Eli Manning has. That's it. Yeah, dude. Those are the only it was crazy. 20, those are the only 29 things that that's crazy city has. to see Simple Jack win two Super Bowls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell everybody I was gonna say Forrest Gump, but that was tell everybody sick. what's going on. So do I think we just did? You just did the dates and all that before we got into the simple chat. Yeah, but get me with the... Oh, um, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Like we said, this week, when you hear this, we'll be in Chicago uh, Thursday, Minneapolis, Minnesota Friday, and Harris, Michigan on Saturday. The week after that, Friday, Saturday, he's in Calusa and Napa, California. Go get your tickets. They're almost out. And then the week after that, we're in Omaha, Nebraska, which I've never been. So I'm pretty excited. And I hear good things about you, Omaha. Yep. And well, Omaha is amazing, dude. And Colleen, who runs that club, is fantastic. We have a great time staying downtown. That's where wait. I got my Pew Pew shirt from. Great. And I will have, I'm pretty sure, a fresh batch of merch for Omaha. So we can't wait to see you guys there. And then anything after that, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Um, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. And uh, youth twitch.tv slash youthful wolf. Um, that's it for us today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you always, as always, for tuning in. 
go ahead and say what you're going to say so I can close this out. All right. I just want to say, dude, I'm, um, I am super grateful for all of you and for everybody listening and to all the new people listening to this podcast. Thank you all so much. You know, this is truly one of my favorite things I've ever done. And to have people watching and listening and enjoying, I'm super grateful for all of you who are listening and coming out to the shows. Thank you all so much for allowing us to, you know, do this. Yeah, absolutely. So, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I am not going to lie. After my, the show of my life, the Vegas, the Sunday we were here, um, I, it's not going to stop. I think I'm going to have the show of my life every weekend. So come that. out and see a show. Come out and see what's up. Uh, we're fired up. All right. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Go tell somebody you love them today and do something nice for someone. Later, we'll everybody.